This summer, we were on a mission to set a brand new bow fishing world record. And what a better place to do that than South Florida. So we hooked up with Donovan Tate and he owns and operates Aero Assault Bow Fishing Charters down in the Miami and Florida Key area. And we are seriously gonna be trying to do something that very few people on the planet have ever even attempted to do. And I bet even fewer of them actually pulled off. But that is probably why at the time of the filming of this show, there was still no official world record. Like it was made to ride right there. Is this the Kadar Kadarshians? Is that who lives here? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what a couple of rednecks are doing hanging around these million-dollar homes, but yes, I do. We're going both. So we're going to redneck it up a little bit. <laughs> We hooked up with Donovan Tate, aerosol bow fishing. He knows where all the fish are. And Mr. Um, Jovan Musk. Jovan, <laughs> Jovan, he's nice enough to take us out on his boat today because we're gonna go a little farther offshore than your typical bow fishing trip might be. We're gonna go shoot mahi mahi. Never done it before, never seen anybody do it. We got a little water clarity problem though, cause like I can see the bottom, like everything. Yeah, it is a lot clearer than the nav channel running through Oklahoma. Right yeah. <laughs> Let's go kill some. So first we gotta find the mahi-mahi. Then we gotta catch one on a rod and reel, get him up close to the boat, and leave him on the line in hopes that the rest of the fish will school up with him close enough that we can actually get a shot. It, it's just the ocean, right? It's mm -hmm. easy enough. Yeah, that's why everybody's doing it. They like to stay in schools. So you keep one on the line, and the rest of them, here's one here, the rest of them are gonna come around and school up with the one on the hook. Kind of like decoying a turkey. Now keep in mind, we're shooting for the world record here. We're gonna see who gets the world record first. Since there is no current world record for Mahi Mahi with a bow, we're liable to beat the world record a bunch of times today on this very boat. Stay tuned. Let's hope, let's hope. Keep looking for Moby Dick to swim by. You got him! You got him! No. I thought the arrow was stuck in. We figured it out. The reason there's no world record is because, well, you can't cheat him. <laughs> When they're that deep, you really gotta aim, do some crazy Kentucky windage on them. But so it can kind of screw you up, but it's really cool because you can see everything that's going on. Where we going, Captain? We'll turn us around, see if we can pick up the fish. Yes, ma'am. It's it's P O T E A T. What are you doing? Yeah, first, just a minute. I'm calling Guinness. Gotta let them know that they need a new page in the book. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. It's it's David. Got him, got him. World record. Yeah. That's a nice world record, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave. Look at that, son. How about that bow fishing off of Key Largo? Aaron saw bow fishing. Got his mouth full. We were trying to eat a bite of lunch. We just brought home dinner. Good job, Woo! Dave. World record, nice. baby. Good job there, Avant. So watch this arrow. Oh, oh, this, this is a harsh lock release. Boom. Didn't even have to touch it. To say the odds are stacked against you when you're trying to shoot Mahi Mahi with a bow and arrow in the ocean is an understatement. In fact, over the entire rest of the day, we only got one other Mahi Mahi in the boat, and guess who shot that one? Donovan Tate. And he shot it out of the back of the boat on a whim. But nevertheless, we got two in the boat. 
but only one of them will take home the title world record. We shot some mahi, mahi today with bow and arrows with Inside Outdoors Television. And so we okay. think we've got the we world record. So first work. we're gonna take to, we zeroed because out the scale. Honestly, I'm gonna put the 2.5 pound weight on it. Probably just shot oh, hold on a second. one and two I'm gonna tear it. world record mahi mahis for the bow the bow fishing rig. All right, so it's 2.6. Never, there's not I'm gonna ever take, been one registered. So we I've shot these today one. on film, we've, got proof. We've shot these on We're gonna weigh them. Video. They're obviously not very big, but they're the first ones go. ever to be registered. So this one is 5.3 pounds. That was the Donovan's, all right now. I, I connected first, Donovan connected second, but we're gonna see which one's the heaviest. First one, 3.7. Well, yeah, I, I had the world record for what? 45 minutes of the day, and then you got it. Good job, man. Too, too close. Congratulations. Loser? Loser. <clears throat> Let's see. Count them up. How many world records have you gotten in your bow fishing career? I've got a mug that says world's greatest bow dad. Bow fishing career. You don't own that record. Very important to take care of yourself out here, you know. It's not a fashion show, it's about protecting your skin, the only skin you got. And that look good. Next on our list of things to shoot was some stingrays. Now Donovan's boat can hold a lot of people, so the wives were gonna join in on the fun on this trip. And of course the wind starts picking up and the conditions got a little tough, but either way, we were gonna have a lot of fun. We were still gonna make this happen. And let me tell you, these girls are not afraid to shoot. We're just getting started. The water's beautiful. It's a little windy, so there's some chop on the water. It's easy enough for us to see. Maybe the camera pick them up just right. And Donovan tells us we're looking for a spotted giant Stingray. Eagle rays. <laughs> Actually, there's one type of ray out here we can't shoot, and that's that ray. Right here in front of us. Right in front of us. Turn left. Turn left. Oh. Way too far out. Right here. Straight ahead. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Oh. Got him. Here, grab this bow. Yep. Got it. Oh, he came out. Oh, he came off. Hard right. You still see him? Yeah. I'm about to lose him right now. He's somewhere he's right in here. He went straight ahead of us. He's right in front of us, right here. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Cut left. Got Here, I'm on him. Hang on, I got him now. Here. Yeah. Oh, God. Hang on. He doesn't have a barb on him. Look, his tail's gone. You see that? How about that? Look at that. Look, somebody already cut his barb off or a shark or something. That's got the it. one you shot earlier and came off. Look, yep. sure is. Look at that thing. Okay. How are we talking? Hello. 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 Look at that thing. You want some of this fun? Give this guy a call. Hero with salt bow fishing, babies. South Florida. Right there is the... That's Miami. Downtown Miami. We got it done. Good job, man. Way to go. We got it done. Now go sit down. Shut up. <laughs> Just kidding. You've heard of seedless watermelons, right? Well, of course, I had to shoot the only stingless ray in Florida. And actually the wind just kept getting worse. And so what happens is it makes the top of the water choppy and it makes it really hard to see. So we decided to back off, go to shore, get some dinner, come back after dark and let the lights help us out. Dave got him a stingray while the sun was up. We're gonna see if we can get some stingrays now that the sun is down. Stingrays, barracudas, red snapper, yellow snapper, 
uh, and everything else that the Cat in the Hat has to offer out here in Southern Florida. What happened? He, I don't know. I looked like I got him. <laughs> got him. Yep. Got me a Cuda. One of them. Florida Gar. <laughs> there you go. Uh oh. We're going to put him right there. There you go. Look at those teeth, man. Tim, lip him. No. No, I don't. Um, look at him. He wants to take my finger off. We're going to go ahead and set him in an orca. There's Dave Stingray. Look, we got some company for him. Yep. Oh. Golly. She's getting, she's getting close. She's right there on him. Every time she shoots. Right there, Seth. Nice miss, babe. Look up the crocodile out there. I got distracted. Oh, it is. Got him. Bang. Right in the center punch. Doors open. Another good one. He got line in his mouth? Yeah. Wow. Can we get that hook? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've come to Florida to shoot a stingray and a dolphin. And so far I've shot just about everything but. <laughs> you shot an arrow through my heart, honey. Oh. Well, every chance I get, she still ain't dead. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw up. We're turning back around. We've been just cruising this area and Dave spotted a good stingray. But we just, he just Somewhere sit there. We here. went, yeah, we went straight past him. So right now we're turning back around to see if we can find him. Right he, right there. Right there. Shoot him, shoot him, what? You got him. You got him, kid. Maybe. No, you got him. We got us a good one on. We just gotta run him down. Try to get him up and gaffed. He's right here, right here. Right there, yep. Try to get him up. Oh, oh, oh. He's still on. He's a good one. Got him. Woo! Watch your, watch his bar. Here, I got him. Yep. That's a good one. Good one. I told you I saw one. Woo! Good job, buddy. Good job. Thank you. There we go. That is the business end. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, this is so awesome, Donovan. I appreciate it. It, this is down. exactly what we came for. Air with salt bow fishing down here in we went South, South Florida, Florida South Miami Florida, area, Miami. the Keys. Right. You can shoot so many different kinds of fish. And this right here is a freaking trophy. They just trophy. don't make them in Oklahoma. No, nah, <laughs> nah, there's no Oklahoma fish. And he'll eat awesome. The weather wasn't perfect today, but we made it happen on this We flat. did. We made it happen. We were a little bit worried about the wind. Donovan was like, look, Let's just run out there. It's gonna be a little bit choppy, but he knows where these fish are. He knew where the barracuda was. He knew if we came out here, even in the wind, we we're gonna get on some stingrays. I'm pumped. Donovan's got a back master because he is a master chef and known all around this cove. Right here. <laughs> exactly, right here. <laughs> but you, you do actually use a back master all the time and you're gonna show us a trick to use this Freeze, we got a flight tomorrow, so. 
So I'll tell you what, a lot of my customers come, you know, they're here, maybe the last thing they do, they do while they're here, they're gonna fly out maybe five, six hours after the trip, you know? Yeah. And they may push it hard, we do a lot of boat fish at night. I'll flay their fish up, vacuum seal it, and then I'll flash freeze it. And I'm gonna show you the way that we flash freeze that. In a cooler. In a cooler. You can freeze it in a cooler. Uh, not everyone has enough freezer space to freeze some of that meat. The freezer's not gonna freeze fast enough. So what I like to do, same way that, that your parents used to make their ice cream, using ice and rock salt. How about that? So I've heard about it, but I've never seen it. So it lowers the temperature from the freezing point from 32 degrees, way below that. And when we submerge this with, with, uh, with some water, with some ice and some salt, we're gonna get this stuff, all of it, frozen very quickly. Like right, quickly, three, three or four hours. Serious. Well, Solid. It. Something shows that it. So let's check it out. So it's all a right. good thing you got a big or heavy duty orca <laughs> that's gonna really hold the cool in. It's gonna hold the cool in. Once that thing gets cold, man, that ice stays forever and it's gonna really lock in and make this freezing process easier. If you would, hold that for me, Tim. So I've already got most of our fish in here. Very easy process. We're gonna add some ice. I've got, I've got a, a layer of ice and rock salt, or ice cream salt on the bottom. And this that I got. Uh, layer that there. Some ice cream salt, that's all you need. Now, now listen, I've been trying to tell Dave that it's not actual ice cream. You don't eat It's it. salt to make ice cream, Dave. This doesn't so go in your eating. eggs. Is that not what, I saw some of that in Dairy Queen. <laughs> don't worry about how much you use, you wanna use plenty of it. We're gonna put a lot in there. So what we gotta do is lay these in as a single layer right in here so that the water and the salt and the ice will go all the way around them as a single layer. So you did an ice, fish, ice, fish. Yep, ice, fish, salt, ice, fish, salt. Okay. We're gonna cover that. Does it matter how much ice you put between the layers of fish? It doesn't matter, but what matters is that you get plenty of salt on there. Like. The more salt, the better, or can you even do more? Can, is there a such thing as too much salt? No, no, really, it's gonna melt it. It's gonna melt that ice slowly, but it's not gonna be too much salt, I think. But now, now that we've got that, we're gonna add a little bit of water. We're gonna add just a little water to that. Just regular tap water. Right yep. up so, tap and water. to be a little bit of a science geek, salt raises the freezing, I mean, lowers the freezing temperature of water. And it also lowers the boiling temperature. So if you've ever made pasta, and you're so slowly simmering that water and you see bubbles and when you pour the salt in there, you see that yep. you just lowered the, the boiling point so, so now it boils fast. faster. And so why is this important? So the water is much colder without freezing so it wraps around the fish better? Right, right. So, this is, so we're making ice cold water. It's not gonna freeze the water, but it's gonna freeze everything else. That's crazy. So now that we've got that all stacked in there, we'll add a little more salt just to be sure. So it really doesn't take a ton of salt. It doesn't take a ton of salt. So that's one box and that was maybe three or four bucks. We just saved ourselves a ton. You're telling me that by the time we leave in the morning, Frozen the airport, solid. Frozen solid. In four hours it should be And y'all saw that meat solid. was not frozen in the least when we just sealed it in that vacuum. It's going to be frozen solid. You pull that out right before you go on a plane trip or even on your car, you wrap it in some paper, put it in your bags, your carry-on bag, whatever, take it home with you. Oh, that's awesome. You and you can, do this, you can do this with your elk, your yeah, deer. Yeah, you can carry mine, because mine's bigger. Everything. I shot the first one, so you gotta take all the carry them all. No, yeah. but I caught the Who first. shot the world record yesterday? I did, and then- Who else shot one? <laughs> No one yeah. remember who used to have who, the world record. Who, Everybody knows who has the world record now. Who was second place 19 years ago? So no one know. cares. <laughs> second place is first loser. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. It's it's David Big Fish Shooter Poteet. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That's it. No, E A T. Yes, ma'am. No, it's not petite. Nothing small. Just poteet. Yeah, no. I'll have to call you back. <laughs>